the second video of my study journey on Aptir, a FinOps case study. A FinOps case study. The business case is as a certified FinOps practitioner, I help an enterprise client named Unreaco start the FinOps practice based on below considerations. First, I will follow the FinOps reference, specifically FinOps reference model on the principles, domains, tasks. And second, I will based on the business case analyze. Business case is the customer's real concern and the requirement. I have to combine the business case analyze and the FinOps re reference cohesively to come up with the proper use case. The third consideration is agile iteration principles. Specifically, based on the agile definition, we do not need to put together all the use case at one time. We were focusing on the use case for the iteration, for example, the iteration one. And then we will review the use case and the deliverables by the end of the iteration and create the new tasks for the next iteration. So with these three principles, FinOps reference, business case analyze, and agile iteration principles, I would like to drive the FinOps practice forward. FinOps fram uh, framework. This slide is come from FinOps foundation with some basic knowledge and the terminologies of the FinOps. Principles, personas, phase, maturity, and a domain. I'm not going to go through the details of the concept and the terminology of the FinOps in this video. In this video, we will focus on the business case analyze, assuming we already understand the FinOps foundations. If you need to have more knowledge of the FinOps knowledge, you can go visit the FinOps Foundation webpage and get some basic information. In this video, we were focusing on the face, the inform, optimize, and the operate. This is the place we need to create the use case for the each face. This slide is the details on the three phase. As you can see, they are iterative, they are circular, they are moving forward iteratively depending on the how long you define the iteration, typically two weeks for the one iteration. And all the use case, like these are tasks as a reference when we created the real use case for the specific use case. So again, the three principles align to the reference tasks, use case need to align to the business case. And the th third, we need to consider the iterative with the two weeks spring the use case. This slide includes the business case. The business case is about the company called Unreal Co. The company startup about 30 years ago, 1990s, with two acquisitions happened. One is 10 years ago, one is about seven years ago. So in summary, this enterprise including three different subdivisions reflecting to the three independent company getting merged. One is the spots, one is the threats, and one is the results. And the information collected in this table about the enterprise IT perspective, specifically from the IT public cloud related information. For example, cloud utilization. As you can see, 
the three different uh, divisions, they are using the different cloud accounts. Spots using the AWS and Azure accounts. Threads using the Azure and the results using the AWS accounts. It is obviously where we have the consolidation opportunity when we implement the FinOps. We can have one AWS account with multiple divisions and uh, using the tag and the label technology. And the number two, as you can see for the Azure account for the Unreal threads, there is no information disclosure, no billing information, no invoice information, and no usage information. So this definitely can be the second use case being resolved by the FinOps inform implementation. The third use case could be the cloud cost grew 45% in the Unreal results division and, and within the last two years. Is this a good thing or bad thing? We do not know because we really needed to get insights how these costs grow align with the business value. If there are significant business value align with this growth, it may be our healthy growth. Otherwise, it could potentially have the opportunity to save the cost. Let's take off the table, take a look of the table I used to collect the information and come up with the use case we need for the fin of the face, face by face and for the iteration one. In the left three columns, they are all the information from the FinOps definitions, face, capabilities and principles, and tasks. These tasks I used as a reference use case. And then based on the definition here, the reference use case and uh, cross-reference with whatever we harvested from the previous business case, I come up three inception use case for the iteration one. The first one is AWS account consolidation between the Unreal Sports and the Unreal Results. We've already reviewed from the previous page. And the second one is Azure account does not share any detailed invoice and usage information. We can have those information ready after set up the FinOps. And the third, and real results, AWS spending has been up 45% yearly recently. And we can have the reports and the dashboards to get the insights why the cost is up. Similarly, we do the same thing about the optimization phase. We have the capabilities and the principles specifically the principles such as business value of the cloud drive decisions. We need a FinOps team and drive the FinOps initiatives and take advantage of the variable cost model. And uh, there are a number of the tasks as a reference here, two different categories. The first two are, we need to analyze the goals, metrics, and the targets. We need to identify the potential candidates to be optimized. So this is very important because uh, this is really closely related to the, the, for example, the service labor agreement, service labor objectives or non-functional features to define the, for example, online business need uh, to transfer super fast with a low uh, delay, right? And uh, then we can define, determine what kind of the uh, measurement we need to have for optimized resource. Workload management, which is unprovision those resources really never been used. And a right sizing, reserved instance, spot instance for the development environment and discounting. And it's exactly the same thing for the operate. 
and have the capabilities, principles, the team need to collaborate, need to communication, need to have the executive sponsorship and the tasks in including the align to the business goals, automation, container, manage to the unit economics. Four and five is reflecting what we see from the business case. Number four is the different the business units, which is divisions really have the different uh, vision or view for the best, how the business put together. Then with the FinOps, we can have the unified view. And also the CIO's vision or CIO's perspective on the cloud is in the next one or two years, move everything to cloud as much as possible. So this kind of the strategy also can reflecting in the uh, FinOps, the manage the unit economics and uh, everybody need to take the responsibility, their ownership for all these principles. In summary, I put together number of the use case for the different phase respectively or the iterating one only. And this use case are abstracted from the business case analyze. And meanwhile, this use case need to align to the referenced tasks from the uh, each phase and the capabilities and the principles. Because all these three are important, right? The reference, the business case analyze, and uh, the agile it, uh, iterative approach. So these combined together, we can move forward effectively for the client's FinOps practice. Thank you.